We are talking dangerously cold wind chills today, and that extends with that wind chill advisory heading until noon tomorrow. So expect to be very cold the next couple of days and make sure that you dress warm. If you do have to be out and about today, many schools have called off today. The reason for that is because temperatures are into the single digits across the entire area, and you factor in those winds currently out of the northwest at about 20 to 30 miles an hour. This is what it feels like as you head outside. This is what it feels like on your exposed skin. 21 below in Fort Madison, 18 below in Quincy, 10 below as you head towards Pittsfield, 17 below in Jacksonville. And keep in mind that just 10 minutes outside is all it takes for frostbite to set in. So that's the reason many schools have called off today for the safety of those students. Now here's how things are looking. Now this is the reason why those temperatures are in the single digits right now. We have lost that cloud cover and uh, we're looking at clear skies that drop those temperatures into the single digits. We will warm up to about seven our high today. Clouds will kind of move in a little bit later this afternoon, but still bitterly cold. Zero is where we will be at at 7 a.m. Not warming up too much, though. A nice, very warm five degrees by the noon hour. Winds remain with us out of the northwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour by five o'clock as you head home four degrees. Now it doesn't get any better. In fact, tonight we're going to dip down to five below. The good news here with tonight's forecast is I know it's below zero, but those winds die down quite a bit out of the northwest at five to 15 miles an hour. Still expecting that wind chill to be about 15 below, but then your extended forecast, it does get better. Just like each of these patterns, we have a couple of days of these extremely dangerously cold days, and then we start that warm up again. We're talking the mid 30s by Wednesday as well as Thursday. Now the weekend forecast Friday, Saturday and Sunday watching closely, watching those temperatures closely as currently they're into the upper 20s to lower 30s, but we do have a chance for some light snow both Friday, Saturday and Sunday.